Good morning dear friends and greetings to all of you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is a brand new day and let us begin this day by spending a, just a few minutes in the presence of the Lord meditating on his word. And may the Lord strengthen your faith and increase the fire of the Holy Spirit burning in your hearts for him who died for you and rose again we praise the lord for this for this opportunity today's meditation is centered around ephesians chapter 6 verse 18 let me read that passage and the title of this meditation is why pray ephesians 6 18 says and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and request with this in mind be alert and always keep on praying for all the saints pray why pray prayer brings us into contact with god and open the gate so that the river of god's blessings may flow into our hearts and into our lives prayer brings us into contact with god's power as turning a switch and it lets the electricity flow into the bulbs and it begins to glow we are light of the world that's what jesus said let the light shine some one in darkness afraid and lonely crying out somebody please show some light will you be that somebody will you let your light shine and show someone who is still groping in darkness to find their way that someone Will, it, will you be that someone? And let the light glow. And for this reason, the light has come to you and you are enlightened. In every circumstance of life and in every time of need, we are to utilize the privilege of a prayer. We must do it in the power of the Holy Spirit. I want to say three things about prayer and the Holy Spirit. Number 1. The Holy Spirit creates within us a prayerful heart. Galatians chapter 4 verse 6. And that verse says, "Because you are sons, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts." the spirit who calls out abba father now it is god's desire that each one of his children commune with the heavenly father and it is a great privilege my dear friends that we are given this unique privilege to come and enter into the very throne room of the great king of kings and the lord of lords and don't throw away this unique privilege very rare that the almighty creator god who lives in an unapproachable throne am um, I an unapproachable light the creator the sovereign lord of all given to his children through faith in Jesus Christ enter into his very throne room ha what a joy it is it is your privilege and it is my privilege and uh, secondly the holy spirit gives us guidance concerning 
द सब्सटेंस ऑफ आवर प्रेयर रोमन्स चैप्टर एट वर्स ट्वेंटी सिक्स लेट मी रीड इट फॉर यू रोमन्स चैप्टर एट फॉर ट्वेंटी सिक्स एंड दिस इज अ वेरी वंडरफुल वर्ड इन द सेम वे द स्पिरिट हेल्प्स अस इन आवर वीकनेस we do not know what we ought to pray uh, what the spirit himself in the seeds but the spirit himself in the seeds for us with groans that words cannot express now this is a very wonderful uh, news my friends how much our heavenly father uh, really cares for us now what more can our father do uh, to make us victorious and live a fruitful life and enjoy serving the lord remember that nothing he has withheld from us he has released all the privileges and all the opportunities for us to uh, uh, come into his very presence before his throne and continue to receive from him all that is necessary for us to be victorious and thirdly the holy spirit identifies with us to the extent that he makes intercession for us according to god's will if we still fail in our spiritual life and growth and fruitfulness and usefulness is it possible for us to still blame god or blame the devil no my friend we cannot because there is nothing that god has withheld from us and therefore even satan cannot be blamed for our failure we must go beyond prayer into a higher experience of being with jesus and now being with jesus will help us to know him and secondly to know his will and thirdly to love him and fourthly to do his will come on dear friend this is god's will for you go beyond the prayer get intimate with jesus abide in him and bring forth the fruit of the holy spirit and bear fruit more fruit and much more fruit this is abundant life this is a life in which you will find fulfillment and this is the life that god has ordered for you don't miss it and don't neglect it and this morning let us determine by the grace of god and by the power of the holy spirit that you on your part will do everything that can help you and bless you with a fruitful victorious life the lord is near he is coming soon are we ready are you ready to give an account to him of your life get ready jesus is coming soon the lord's blessing be upon you throughout this day and the grace of god which saved you and which brought you to jesus also now still abiding in you and it enables you to say no to all ungodliness and strengthen you 
to live a godly life fruitful and useful and god's name be glorified amen father in heaven we thank you for the blessed holy spirit who comes to help us in times of prayer because very often we do not know what to pray for or even how to pray so you send your holy spirit who comes and takes over and he begin to intercede for us what a joy what a privilege to know that there is there is a divine person who is praying for us besides jesus christ himself our lord and savior who is at the right hand of god the father in the seeding for each one of his children thank you father let this revelation this morning enlighten us strengthen us and encourage us motivate us to live for him and not to fail in jesus wonderful name lord amen god bless you my friend he loves you he cares about you this is a good day He has not given us a bad day. This is a good day. Enjoy this day and go ahead and live for God. Amen.